<clears throat> Julian Rock, uh, 1423 of the pier, Polly's place. Now it's my turn to get emotional. That was uh, very kind. Thank you guys. <clears throat> um, I sent a proposal today in long letter form to the mayor um, regarding the future of Harrison Point City Initiative as a nonprofit in this community and really the future of Port Huron as a whole. I don't think anybody here doubts my sincerity at this point. And I don't think anybody in this room doubts my ability either. We have managed to grow what we're doing in that neighborhood and for the community while under duress. Now, I'd like to thank Council Member Ruiz for uh, visiting me in the garden, even in the rain. We had a nice little chat and also congratulate him on his last council member meeting and I believe 11 years so congratulations there and I'd also like to thank the mayor who after a few repeat attempts we were able to meet up at the garden and talk and I think everybody also agrees that Port Huron is a community facing a lot of challenges and I think we may disagree about why that is or who's to blame or whatever but the fact that in particular the harrison point neighborhood is an underserved community is self-evident and what we're trying to do is have closer eyes on that neighborhood as we've done you know i know a lot of people in that neighborhood on a first name basis as they come through and get veggies as they just know what's going on. Three seasons is a long time. There's also a piece of property in that neighborhood I paid back taxes on three seasons ago, saved from being taken by the county, and now a family of color lives there and the only thing they need to pay is insurance and property taxes on that home. We've made some significant changes in that neighborhood and as you well know, I feel as though my conversation with the city has been censored because the usual channels haven't worked. So now I'm here for having formed a nonprofit for a neighborhood, which is good, but the reason being is that we've been unheard. So it's called Harrison Point City. And when you go to bigger cities that have grown, you'll find near their downtown areas a little artsy area that has maintained its culture. It maybe had a little rent control going on. There's cafes. There's something where locals can still afford to live and work in the same city limits. I project and hope in 50 years, that's what Harrison Point will be. And we can do that on our own, but we can get a whole lot further if we work together. And I'd like for you to look at us not as a threat, but an asset. If I can come here and give a back and forth presentation every spring and fall of how that neighborhood is doing, I would love to. It is my intention that this is the last time I come here for four minutes. Thanks.